for those that are new, uh, we're Rick and Deb Purcell, and we are healers. And we do these once a month, free healing webinars. Uh, and this month, at the end of this month, we will start doing this in the Southern Hemisphere of New Australia and New Zealand. Uh, we have a web website, uh, HealTeachLove.org, where you can read on the first page all about uh, how this began with us. And uh, we do this with Phil. So take it away, Phil Barrow. My, my turn. Yeah, I've been, uh, I love this actually, but it's a shame. Sometimes we get 50, sometimes we, get, we just don't know how many will come here. But uh, I've been healing for, since I was four. Uh, for 51 years, I started naturally. Uh, I didn't know anyone could heal. I mean, in fact, I thought everyone could heal. I thought it was just normal uh, until I realized as I was growing up that uh, it's not normal. Then I got credited 20 years ago. I do voluntary in, in two places. And the knowledge I bring is from different aspects of different past lives I've been. Uh, the Raphael part, the Hermes part, and the Merlin part. So sometimes someone asks a question and it takes a few minutes for me to work it out. It's just I'm channeling some of the aspects and they're trying to work out what the question is and what, what the answers are. And then they, they just give it back. So sometimes you wonder why it's a slow pause. I'm just trying to get the information if it's a complex one. But uh, any, anyone wants an healing to eat tonight, that's be fine. Uh, I use various systems and uh, sometimes new ones. So uh, you might, if you're a spiritual healer, just, you might learn some healing techniques which you haven't heard before. So that's about it. Right. So how it works with Rick and I, Rick is uh, connected to source energy, creator, God, whatever name you want to give him. Um, he scans you and I get a down, the downloaded information so I actually can see inside your body. Um, and uh, I start telling you what uh, messages are that I'm receiving. And we go from there. All right, so. Um, we can remove attachments. Right. Um, and if you want to just ask your questions or start listing things in the, in the chat pane on the right hand side, we'll go, we'll start from there. And right now, I have Davina. She's asking if we could assist her to check her left eye and her left hand side, actually. Yes, we can. Uh, do you want some healing as well? Yeah, she's um, asking us to check her left eye, her, her left hand side. Actually seeing something behind her eye. Do you see that snake thing behind her eye? Oh, it looks like a worm. My Archangel Michael.
it's being removed now. There's also one in your back. You know, I, I know where these came from, but I don't want to discuss it here. I'll talk to you later. I'm overeating now. I felt like a parasite burning out. Mm -hmm. It felt like a, it felt like a spiritual parasite was burning out. Was they are. Very, 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 very I know hard. exactly where they came from. Thank you so much, because I keep feeling like uh, something in my eye, but I check, there's nothing, but every yeah. it's been more than one week or two weeks. And behind my uh, back, the two bones, you could feel like, you know, like electric, but yes, something. Yeah, I know where you got them, and um, I know exactly how you got them, and you're the second person I removed one from this week and I know exactly where you got them and I will explain where later. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. Did you did you feel the eat coming up? To to get rid of them yourself, when you're meditating you've got to like think of a, a very high temperature on the area. And you, they just burn out. They can just burn out. So uh you haven't had a test or anything like that have you to do with this sex thing. Uh, it's a person that is actually giving these off, um, and it's. Hmm. I went instantly out then, which is a sign of a parasite. It's a person that actually, it, it's a, it's somebody that she wouldn't even realize is giving these off. But... And sometimes they don't even know. Exactly. Thank you so much. Okay. Rhonda was with was with those who were jabbed and what has mainstream media streaming all day and was very loudly. Was wondering if my direct links to Source and Gaia in the highest dimensions were are blocked. Hey guys. Hi. I don't understand your question. So, um, you know, uh, okay. So, uh, I have heard, and I, you know, I really want to know the, the truth of this, um, which would be beneficial probably to a lot of us. The, um, I, I have heard that um, those who have had the, you know, this, right this thing are you talking about the shedding uh i guess is that what it's called i guess yeah, yeah. okay so so it does that affect the others does that affect us okay okay my, so my links to to source and gaia they should be perfect you, not nobody's going to be affected by that that's another fear okay yeah. and Quite honestly, I was reluctant to even ask because I I still really do feel that nothing can get to me anyway, right? I'm powerful and protected, so I don't think I have to worry about that. However, I'm going to contradict myself now <laughs> in that um, I was wondering. It's been a it's been a quite a while, and I was wondering if you all could connect with me and just do a body scan and just see, make sure everything is in its right place. Okay, Rhonda, can I say something about the, uh, we don't yeah. know. 
we don't know because it's been made by low vibrational people. Mm -hmm. So we don't know exactly where it's going. Uh, so that's, uh, that's an, it's an unknown. I'm it's talking about, about I'm talking about the the the, the 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 vaccine anyway. We don't know where, where it'll go with humanity. We, we don't know how it'll go or anything. It's it's as well as two yeah, I, sorts. I, I, it's like separating. It's like the ones that are having it and ones that are having it. And that's like two different people who are coming out of this. Two human humans, in my opinion. Yes, we've also heard that, and it makes sense. That's what they're doing. That's the plan. Mm. Yeah, well, it's, it is free. Is the, the satanic ones, and then there's the humans uh, se separating. So it's free, really. Is that? And it's, yeah. We, so I don't know where it's going. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Mm. Okay. You, you want some healing, scanning, and everything? Yeah, that would be lovely if you could. I would so appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. In my back and my knees. Okay. Rhonda, can you speak again, please, so we have a picture of you? Um, yep, here I am. There you go. the beginning of a well i don't know whether it's today or next week but um you, you, your bladder is being healed wow thank you talking about the bottom of your feet. I, I got a grounding problem. I think it's a blockage because you're not grounding all the way. Bottom of your spine, above your root chakra. You may feel a heat or vibration there. Yes, I have been for um, actually a little while.
Rhonda? Yes. You've been doing a lot of spiritual this year. There's oh my. Lot... Hmm? Yes, yes. There's a lot more coming and uh, you could do light language soon. There you go. Awesome. So that's coming. That's exciting. Very good, very good. Um, the uh, so what was going on with was my crown chakra blocked? Your root chakra is blocked, but then your crown it's like a, a traffic jam. It's it's not balanced. It's not working. You've just got to ground a bit more. I think you're learning so much up here. You're not thinking, hold on, I've got to ground some of the stuff as well. Ah, okay. So more okay. more grounding during the after the after. You, you get channeled or what you do in spiritual do a bit of grounding at the end so it any energies just disperse okay ground at the end you know what I, I i am lacking i usually do it in the beginning but i i don't do that at the end so mm. um okay i will i will take that to heart i'm sure that will help me the grounding at the end is the most important because you're still at an eye you gotta ground yourself to the earth. <laughs> so that's, why, that's why you're having uh, feet problems and stuff. Oh, okay. Ground, grounding is always at the end, by the way. <laughs> oh, well, see, I'm, Every, I'm still learning new things all the time. So, very good. Um, and then uh, the other, the other question I had was. I, not just for me, but for others who may be interested in um, in focusing and getting the answer. So when I ask a question to source, because I, I go from unconditional love, I go right to source and get confirmation that it's me. And so from there, um, all my questions and answers come from that. Now, I get... I'll get, if I ask the same question, I will get yes, no, or I, w I might just get an answer less, or I'll get the yes, you know, yes, no. So it's like, it's not strong. It's not just an answer. Um, so how do I focus more on, I'm not sure what I need to do. It change your supplier. Don't go to, all the way to source. Go to the Andromedas uh, or the Paradians. Go to the, some of the higher vibrational beings and ask for them. Okay, so so source is not high enough. Source is, is source can be too high. You, you, you want information, and really the best people to ask the information are the higher vib beings that are sending us uh, high free, uh, high vibration. Oh, okay. Why aren't huh. you using your guides? Why aren't you using your guides and your angels? I so I was actually I was using them for the longest time, but I was still getting that yes no. Um, whatever it is, I you know, and so it wasn't definitive, and so I thought, well, screw you guys. I'm going to go somewhere where I have where it's just the, you know, it is the highest answer the highest source why not and then i should be oh i've already yeah i've had conversations with and they haven't been pretty mind you so um but uh anyway okay but, uh, how, how i do it i channel like the aspect that was on atlantis hermes i get information about crystals healing uh, well crystal anything's connected to that then I want healing, I ask Raphael for healing. If I want uh, an eye vibration, I go to the Andromeda system. So I connect to the ones I want, basically. If I want magic, I'll connect to Merlin. Uh, okay. Yeah, just okay. connecting to one is a bit like putting the BBC on all the time <laughs> and watching that. <laughs> Variety, variety is always working. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah. All right. Good to know. And um, I will know that they are who they say they are. If you connect to if you connect to Andromeda, the vibration itself tells you. The energy uh, tells you. It's very prickly, very vibrant. There's nothing on the there's nothing on Earth like that. You'll know. You'll know. Okay. Okay, very good. Yeah. But low low vibration beings can't have that high vibration. It's prickly. It's it's as well you wanna you got bags of energy. It's it's an unbelievable energy to connect to. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I will. I would feel that. Okay. Well, thank you guys. So appreciate you. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Okay. Pilot Grace. Oh, she's just saying hi, and she was grateful for all of us. Deb, I think I posted further down. I don't remember. I'm driving. Okay. Oh, she wants a scan and healing. Okay, Violet. I just wanted to add one thing, but because I was driving, I didn't. I bet. Um, so I had asked all of my spiritual guides, spiritual team, and source um, about the vaccine because I've been against getting it for a long time. Um, however, my grandparents are in their 90s, and I'd like to see them one more time. Um, and my parents have pretty much put their foot down, as well as everybody else, that I cannot go see them unless. I got the vaccine. So after canceling many appointments, I did go ahead and get the vaccine eventually. Um, it was a week ago Wednesday. So I am dealing with that. Um, just to throw that out there. Not my proudest moment, but my motivation behind it and confirmation from source in the spiritual realm was that I will persevere through it and potentially be somebody that could help somebody else get through a similar situation like I don't know if my codes are supposed to be helping others move through and I'm using this term lightly is the toxins and everything of that sort that have been deposited into me because my channelings have been insane lately so much that they're overwhelming and my codes as well so I hope that makes sense a little bit but yeah uh, I'll do some healing, Violet. If you start feeling a bit uh, tired or a bit unwell, try and park up somewhere. Because <laughs> I'll send the high vibration into it to dissolve any, any low vibration. But it might affect okay. you, so obviously look for somewhere to park, if it does that. Yeah. Okay, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, Deb, you're scanning, aren't you? Yeah. Did you get Moderna? No, I got Pfizer. The side of the side effects for me um, have been quite rough, especially with my headaches. Um, I have not had this in a long time, um, and then also my energy levels have dropped considerably. Now, granted, I. Um, increase like my channelings and codes and everything are coming in so much at a higher frequency if that makes sense so it could be a combination of both Thank you. 
Did you feel anything there? I did. Um, I felt a lot in my heart. Like it was a warm vibration. It was quite intense. Um, thankfully, I'd just gotten out of construction or off the turnpike. But that's okay. Um, but I've, as last call, you guys know I was working through the past life and three attachments and healing all of that, and I've done extensive work with all of that. So a lot of my energies that I've been receiving and healing have been heart centered and truly finding forgiveness and compassion for everybody. Did you say, Did you say you're you're able to channel? I do channel. It's been very overwhelming um, because I'm not sleeping very well. But um, I usually get calls and none of the channelings I receive um, in dream state. Did you, could you scan her then, Deb, or can you scan her? Well, Rick scanned her, but I wasn't able to receive anything. Didn't this happen last time with a couple people that had the vaccine? No, it, the one woman that, um, she actually put a wall up between her and I. Um, okay. and it's, but, but if you, but if you understood, if you heard her when she said, my angels told me to get the vaccine, angels don't tell you to do anything. So she immediately put the wall up. Um, I got you. Yeah. Okay. She put the wall up between healing and 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 her for me seeing anything. She was belligerent, so uh, I got you. That's what she did. So it wasn't it had nothing to do with healing or me. She actually had a wall up. Okay, I understand now. Yeah. And initially, I thought, well, why was there a wall up? So she kind of freaked me out. And right. Then, but. You know, I got, you know, I got it. I got the message. She got the vaccine from Creator. She got the vaccine, but he was going to continue. But she put a wall up. Boom. Okay. Okay. Because she got defensive. I got gotcha. you. It had nothing to do with anything other than her being defensive. And okay. Yeah. You, know, you know, there's there's no judgment here. I understand exactly, but um, oh, I I'm not getting any messages. Okay. Other than I can't, I can't see anything. I'm not able to see anything, okay. like the inside your body. That's all. And maybe I, okay. it's, not it's not necessary for me to see anything. If you felt Phil's healing, that's good. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'll, I'll be you're still able to channel. That's good. I'll be perfectly. Yeah. I'll be perfectly honest. I'm worried about doing stuff like that when somebody's the back because I don't know what what it is. Uh, it's, a, it's a mystery even to me. I mean, I've, I've had other people that have had the vaccine, and I've, I'm really able to see things, so I, I'm not I'm not concerned about that. Okay. okay. So it, I mean, I just wanted to ask that, I guess, because that's what I had remembered from that last call. Um, but that's fine. I mean, and perhaps maybe, like you said, you don't have to. I mean, I promise you, I don't have a wall up. I have an open channel to you guys normally. No. So. No. And, and I, um, that was a, a different case, but she, that, that's not the first time that she's, um, 
Okay. It, right, like, the one good thing is when I was healing yeah, I didn't have any resistance. So yes. to me, to me, that that's a good thing. Absolutely, I agree with you. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to throw that part out there, you know, to make sure. I know it's a mystery to all of us. I know we have a lot to learn and a lot to yes. transmute so from all of this. But like I said, I continuously ask ask my route, like my spiritual team. I'm like, what do I do? And um. I, I never got the straight no, ever. It was, proceed, you will overcome. I mean, that was the trending message I continued to receive. Well, they're never going to, you know, this is a free will. They're never, ever going to tell you what to do and what not to do. So you have to, these are choices right. you have to make. Your, huh. your, your team is never going to tell you to do something or not to do something. Well, it's this is always a free will. Absolutely. But they, they did say you'd overcome it if you had it, so yeah. they're, they're giving you a bit of advice if you had it, but yeah, they can't tell you, yeah, you know, it's, it's free will. Correct. And I know that um, it's just been challenging, you know, to work through the different pieces when it's something that you personally didn't feel was best for you, if that makes sense. Yeah, and, and it's a very emotional thing, because I have a friend in, in the in Canada that had to make the same choice. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's one I made and like, I, I know my normal healed, you know, evil or evil, even if I can talk, sorry. Um, baseline vibration is quite high and I know I can, you know, come out on top. It just might be working through the pieces in between that, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, but thank you guys for everything yeah. always. Let's see. And iPhone. <laughs> iPhone. iPhone believed she was bitten by a tick. That's me. It was around mm -hmm. someone who was vaccinated. I feel like death, so any healing available would be amazing. I also feel something caught in my left shoulder blade. I love you all so much. I love you too. Um It's my husband that got vaccinated and for a month I wouldn't let him around. Like we're separated, but I had spoke to Phil about it be like right around the time I was gonna see him because after I found out he got vaccinated, I told him, you know, I don't want you around me, your son, anybody in the house for at least 30 days and I have to look into it further. So I did shield me and my son very well, like as best as I could, but I automatically felt my nose burning, my head hurting within 10 minutes of being around him. So I was literally like performing Reiki on myself in public to like kill him as they were getting me type stuff. And it, since then, like I had like diarrhea immediately, like within 20 minutes I had to go to the bathroom. And it's just continued since. And then I took something off my leg. I think it was a tick. I'm not even sure, but it looked like a tick. And yeah, this is the second time in a month now something's got caught in my left shoulder blade. I had spoke with David last time and I had like was able to pull it off myself. But it just feels like I'm getting hit with like the triple whammy and I'm still not connected either. I had black magic being used on me. And I was able to, you know, find the source and remove them from my life. But since then, I'm not connected. Like, I could feel my galactic team working on me, but I haven't got messages in three months now. Like, I don't hear them. I can feel them working on me. And I could feel my intuition. And I could feel myself healing but I'm not getting, I don't know why I'm so disconnected and I can't receive my messages where before the black magic, I was literally like able to have full blown conversations all day with them. It's my heart because I'm trying everything. Okay. Nice. My whole day spirit told me that's all I do is meditate and ground and drink water and do salt bath and everything, and it's just not working. 
what, what do you want? I, I'll give you some healing, and what I'll try and do, I'll try and create a portal above your head, and the healing sea of the under, of the goddesses of the white side of the underworld. I'll try and get you blessed. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, so it's a little different than healing. So take about a few minutes while uh, Deb can scan you. those were ticks. Yeah, I thought so. When I pulled it off, and, like literally, like blood just started like squirting out. Yeah. And I sprayed it with apple cider vinegar and garlic because that was what I had like right next to me and it like stopped the itching and the burning at least. And I've been having my galactic team every night work on me. Every night I have them work on me. I could, like feel it. Like everything I tell them to do, I could just feel like it's like they're like... <laughs> Inside your torso is a green, emerald green fog of healing. Your whole torso. It's the beginning of a healing. So inside your heart now. You're going to feel this warmth that's going to go through every your whole body. It's going to be the creator's energy. So inside your heart, he's going to pour this his diamond crystalline energy. And his white diamond crystalline energy turns into this molten gold that's going to start pumping. And as your heart pumps, it's going to pump through your whole body into your bloodstream, this gold an energy it's going to heal every part of your body so it's going to affect every organ in your body and it's going to start it's going to start feeling this warmth pumping through your whole body it's going to heal every organ and go through every every blood every vein in your body and it's going to start in just a few seconds starting now it's every Every time your heart beats, you're going to feel this warmth going through your body. You can see it going through now. 
spreading through your chest, down through your arms, up through your neck, down to your stomach area. This warmth, golden energy, so up your neck, into your face, your head, down your arms, all this warm energy. Going up your spine, down your hips, into your hips, down your legs. Back your head. Your whole body glows this molten golden color, this warmth. Every vein, every organ. Your whole body's pulsing this beautiful energy. All the way to the tips of your toes, the top of your head. So about your crown. What's out of your body? Your auric field. Aligns your chakras. You're complete. <laughs> you will not get Lyme disease. That was my only concern because I already have fibromyalgia and I've been healing from that. Like, yeah. I've been doing a lot of work on my neurological <laughs> system. <laughs> The only illness that you're going to have is anything um, you contracted before you came here. Does that happen from an epidural? Like they hit my nerve and electrocute me. I'm sorry, I did cut out. The only illness that you will experience are ones that are, are ones that you contracted before you came here with your guides. Any illness in your body right now will be healed with this. Um what about my left shoulder blade? Like it feels like a dart and it's the second time it happened where it feels like I got hit with a dart in the middle of the night and it's like stuck right in my shoulder blade. And I thought at first maybe it was my angel wing caught and I did like a ton of like stuff to open my angel wing. And then it like stopped for like a week and then last night again, something and now, now it's like, it's like so excruciating it's like almost like it feels like a dart hit me like an arrow like stuck in there i mean it feels better now after the healing though honestly <laughs> it, i don't even feel good. it anymore yeah, right. whatever that helped i guess <laughs> yeah that helped. <laughs> yeah well that, well, that, that, well, that is it's the connect you, because you've lost connection that is like a fight between getting connection to the spirit world, it is the back of your neck. Uh, I felt a lot of pain in my back actually. Uh, so you must have pain in the back. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah you've, uh, you've been cleansed of anything to do with that alleged vaccine, probably vibration, I'll say. Yeah. And also the black magic stuff was, was a thing that was in the, the shoulder blade, it's blocking it's actually deliberately trying to block oh yeah i know clearing you. it's blocking the clear but it's cleared now okay. i'm sure it's cleared I, i'm sure you better connect now short shortly yeah so that, that was the what what, what happened is a portal above the head it created a, like a dimensional bringing of white light that's basically giving you a blessing from the, the goddesses so uh, let's cleanse that out and that's why you haven't got the pain now yeah now my my question is like is every like if i every time i go around him is this gonna happen 
because I don't, I just, I'll, I will we'll video chat. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this. Like, I didn't get the vaccine for that reason. And he agreed to not get it. And then all of a sudden, he changed his mind. So I really think he was like tricked into it because he was with me for eight years against vaccines. And I talked to him three days before and he's like, I'm not getting that, da, da, da. And then three days later, he just ran out and got it. Like, I'm nowhere. I'm like, uh, did we not discuss this? Like, you can't even come see your son now because of this. This is ridiculous. So, I just, I mean, if it's going to happen like this every time, I'm just, he's going to have to stay away. It was his choice to do it. And I, I, I just, so, I've been told you can create, create your own shield. So. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been, but apparently it didn't work. So. <laughs> it, 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 it will work now. Because nope. you know you're not blocked. What's the best one to you use? Because I use like ten of them. Depends on the situation, but I do like the, I've done the armor of God. I do the mirror one. I do like a golden love bubble. I've done the plasma one. Yeah, angelic mirror. Angelic mirror. Because I mean, they they blocked me so much that they won't even let me know who I am. Like, I have like 15 clues, but I didn't know, you know, for what I am, what the best one would be to eat. I'm telling you, Thank you. I didn't see any attachments or. I didn't see any. You had a very bad back. Because I, 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 I had a bad, bad back. <laughs> so. Yeah. So it'll go now. Yeah, this guy, the guy that did the black magic was from like uh, 800 BC and he had killed me in 1709. I was a little boy and he'd raped me and killed me by strangulation. So I went back and changed that timeline and his higher self agreed to take back everything he did to me and oof, he was gone. But I believe it was more than one that was connected to him. There was like a good four or five people that were doing it all at the same time. And they were stealing my sexual energy. So. And that's gone now. Yeah, not fun, let me tell you, not fun. Okay. Are we complete? All right. Feels thank much you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Mm-hmm. Right. Reinhard. Yeah. Hello, uh, Deb and Rick and Phil. Um. Yeah. Well. Normally, I, I felt uh, really good, but uh, since about a week or more than that, um, on my torso, I get those um, itchy feelings. And um, it's not because I don't wash, you know, <laughs> but it's uh, <laughs> but it's something um, I, su- I suspect uh, the energy which, which comes in is triggering something out of my body, maybe getting out, or I have no explanation for it. So if I could get a scan, uh, I don't, uh, you know, if it's possible. Um, and some healing, healing yes, as well. Healing, healing as well, because <laughs> this is irritating. Is it like a defense system then? It's like your body's defending yourself from the energies outside. I'm almost thinking they're spraying something in the air. Um, I I must say I have been sitting out um, on the terrace, um, you know, taking sun, and when the sky is um, cloudy, I just also sit on the terrace for some time, and then I go in again. Um, But it's about as I said, it's a m- more as one week ago and so on, I don't know. I'll do healing to the part that's so prickly, yeah? 
try and uh, do it so you don't feel that again. So that's okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay. You may feel a warmth. Yes, I feel. Thank you. Run through your bloodstream as well. Thank you. Because it's uh, like an allergic reaction. Mm -hmm. So drink a lot of water. Um, let me know how it, it should clear up. Let me know. Let yeah, us know. Yeah. Yeah. What what I've done is I've put a bit of immune energy into your where this where the itching is to soothe it down, and I've upgraded your aura field. Uh, to actually try and defend yourself against it, to try and block the actual uh, what's entering. So your aura field's been upgraded, and you, the other the, the itchy part has been soothed. So hopefully yeah. that it, should it, be okay. It's, it's only on the uh, on the torso body, on the, only on the torso body. Nothing on on the uh, legs or arms. Uh, so that's really strange. Yeah. So it was only where it was exposed. It's only no, where no. it's exposed to air, or is it, um... no, no. no I, I'm I'm fully clothed, and I I don't have it in my face. I don't have it on you know on the arms. Oh, okay. Or, not on the legs, but torso. Oh, and, wow. um, um, yeah. Uh, of course. It's, Weird. It's no Weird. spring. It's no spring in Germany. And it's getting warmer, and you go out in the garden, you know. Right, right. Hmm. Okay, okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. That's beautiful. Thank you. Blessing to you. Thank you.
Denise, you just want to scan to see if you're all clear? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to see if I'm doing a good job of clearing myself or not. <laughs> And you and you are healing, obviously. Yeah, whatever's needed, you know. <laughs> Make sure she doesn't have any attachments to me. What's Is that? Not clear. <laughs> Doing a great job, Denise. <laughs> You're well balanced. You are. Yeah. Hi. Any, any clues about the electricity through the hands thing? <laughs> Experienced this phenomenal like electricity coming out of my hands and it was very overwhelming. <laughs> I just was wondering if anyone had an insight about that. Wow. Wonder Woman. <laughs> I wonder what one. <laughs> the big race went out. <laughs> she's a she, she's an expert. Excellent. <laughs> Is it like real electricity? Is it static electricity? It feels energetic in nature. It's like it almost like every every finger. It is like separate and it just like bolts out. And I was like, okay, what do I do with this? <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> so I just put it on my heart, you know? It was like. <laughs> so it sounds like you need to do some healing on people, but don't electric shock them. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the first time this happened. So I was kind of like, oh, wait, wait, what do I want to do with this? <laughs> sounds like a buildup of energy. It's yeah, filled up with a static energy. It's probably, uh, if you have rubber soles, sometimes you don't have the static. If you do, it's like you grind, you, you're becoming like a conductor of all the static around you. I, I, work, would, with, I work with plastic and I, I, I can actually touch someone and get an electric, give them an electric shock if I want to. It was weird because I was like actually in water when it happened. And so, um, I was like, it, I didn't have any shoes on or anything. And I was in water. So it was like, it was very confusing for me. <laughs> you know, something opens up and, and happens. You're like, what is this? Mm -hmm. well, it's, like, it's like when I when I do healing, hands on healing, I get a buildup of negative energy in my hand and I've got to click it out. And you were real, you know, like you're pulling your muscle. But it's a static energy coming. It's a negative energy, which is very similar. So I'm not. I'm not sure if you're picking up energy. But you need to release. Maybe you need to yeah. ground it. Yeah. Huh. You are well balanced. So uh, that's fine. That's really good but, to hear. <laughs> I, I would try and heal people and see how it goes. See okay. if this any. <laughs> see, see if this energy needs to be used. If you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah, it, it sort of happened when I was like, I was, I was like transmute. I was trying to transmute the the feeling of um, like a collective feeling in the heart of uh, uh, like loss. Like there's a lot of people that have a lot of feeling of loss, and it just was overwhelming. I was just trying to transmute that feeling, and it just like happened. And I was like, whoa, what, what's going on? So, so what you're you're picking up, you're picking up all the negative energy from people and put it in into your body and then you can release it through electric because you be, you're picking up that much. So uh, you need to ground yourself when you do that after. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, I thought being in water was gonna help, but <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it and connect yourself to the power. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then you, then you, yeah. Let me get some batteries. <laughs> then you get free electric. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I, I would say it's picking up all the negativity. It's turn, you, you turn, turn it into electricity. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Oh, <laughs> uh, thanks. Thanks, you guys. That really helped. 
You, you can do that because you're so balanced. That's what's good. You, you're absolutely balanced, so you, you've got that ability to do that. You can pick everyone's negativity, but when you do pick it up, you've got to t send it somewhere. Very well, really, really well. I guess I have to work on that a little bit more, huh? Developing that aspect. Okay, thanks. That's a good clue. <laughs> Do you know? She's uh, got shortness of uh, breath in her lungs. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I've had a lung disease for about, I don't know, a little over 20 years. I've been doing self healing and managing it and uh, growing new lung tissue myself. Well, apparently I'm not doing it fast enough, and uh, which kind of ticks me off. Well, now I'm at the point where my uh, guys have told me that it's time to ask for some help. And I, uh, I can't walk down the hall without getting out of breath. And uh, so my brothers and sisters, uh, I'm asking for help, Phil. That's okay. <laughs> we'll help you. Yeah, I, I, and I hate asking for help. Ugh, but it is time. Oh, I want to. Fine. <clears throat> we're all in this together, Dino. So, sorry, what, Deb? We're all in this together. Yes, I know. This is my ego. I'm working on letting that go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, just relax. I'll, I'll give you some healing. So you want your throat okay. clear. You want everything clearing, basically. You want an upgrade in healing. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. Okay. Uh, sure, sure, thank you. Yeah, I would I would try and change your energy field into ask for Andromeda's energy when you're healing yourself. Okay, thank yeah. you. your heart timing is off too the beating of your heart is off the timing so that's getting repaired too which also affects your lungs so your ticker is getting corrected <laughs> that'll help your breathing too <laughs> yeah thank you You may feel some warmth, a little vibration. Everybody's different.
are you feeling? <clears throat> so much lighter. Oh, it feels wonderful. I should have asked a long time ago. <laughs> I wanted to do it myself. <laughs> I'm married to one of them. He's stubborn too. <laughs> uh, well, that's what's made me stay alive so long. Yeah. Thank you so much. Dino, two yes, a couple of things. Yeah, one is remember the, your brain can heal you everywhere. Sometimes you just need to tell it. So you tell your brain that look, I've got a problem here. You, 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 this is a computer. You are you. You got to take over and tell it fix your fix your problem. Your problems. So instead of self healing, tell your brain to start doing its job. Sometimes it's a bit doesn't do it. So you need to be more specific. Yeah, t t just tell your brain, look, I've got a problem here. You're not, you're not fixing it. So you, when you do a bit of meditation, connect to your brain and just say, I want a bit of help here. Yeah, I, I, I took over my brain when I was 14. I was supposed to be, I was supposed to have brain damage. <clears throat> uh, up to nine, I, I was passed at nine. I took over my brain and I separate, I took out the bad bits and mm. kept, kept alive the good bits. Yeah. <laughs> so you can take over your brain and get it to work on you. The other thing is I've connected you to the Andromeda, the beings on one of the planets in Andromeda. So when you meditate next, it might be a bit different and uh, use their uh, energy instead of uh, Earth's energy if you want. Well, that's okay. interesting. I have an Andromedan from me from the future that hangs out with me. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why he's been hanging out with me to get me to figure that out. Okay. So I will connect differently now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Phil. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> Debbie Nicholson. Your oh, head is still moving. Um, is it vibrating? It, it's or physically moving. No, it's either vibrating. It started, you know, like over a year ago, it was jerks, but now it's just vibrates that's not all the time. So it's gotten much better, but it's still not gone. Well, vibrating is a good thing. Didn't you know that? No, we talked about this before. It wasn't a good thing. It isn't, it isn't a good thing. And Phil has tried helping me, and then I had you guys heal me too, but it's still not gone. So you're saying it's a negative? Entity? Yeah. Yeah. You're sure it's a negative entity? It's not a. Positive. Yeah. Sometimes it's it can be a spirit trying to contact you, just know how. But vibrations are positive beings. It's when I mean, are, is it vibrating? The, you are. I've never had a vibration. Vibration that's anything that vibrates is a net is a positive being. I mean, I'm just, if they're taking the bed, moving is, it. Is it shaking? Is it shaking? Yeah. Or is it just vibrating? It's shaking. Yeah. Do you get, uh, do you have fear when that happens? It's annoying. It's so it annoys you. The more annoyed you are, the more vibration does it, the more shaking it does. No, but it started like with jerks. Like, so it's been like, I don't know, a year, year and a half, something like that it would jerk so like every time i was trying to go to sleep it would jerk me awake then it would do it with my chair too so like 24 7 it was jerking and jarring and then it got better because i've tried all kinds of things and then now it's not the jerking and it's not 24 7 but it's still um there. sometimes it's a a spirit that's grounded itself and it wants your energy and sometimes if it jerks you it might just get a little bit more energy off you than normal do you get that down? 
uh, yeah, it, uh, it, it annoys annoying energy is probably what it's thriving on. It's a bit like fear, but annoying is better than normal. So it might jerk your bed, wake you up, and it might be just. Do you get very tired a lot at your house? Um. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. But I mean, I have a chronic illness, so that's kind mm. of always like that. But when it first came, it was like um, dark energy came through the wall, and I could feel it. And then it started doing those things. Well, there is. I'll, I'll give you some healing, but I'll, I'll also uh, heal the at home. Yeah. And I'll remember, try. you told me you got yeah. rid of that one um, spirit you thought. Mm. But what I'll do is I'll also check for any portals. Okay. And close them if you have. It what, could be a portal. The mirror behind your bed is that. No, this is the dining room. Huh? This is the dining room. Hmm? Okay, does that mirror face another mirror? No. Do you have two mirrors facing each other? No. In the anywhere in the house? No. Bathroom? No. Well, I do, but one's short and one's tall, so they're not reflecting each other. They don't reflect each other at all. No. Right, I'll, I'll do healing, but I'll check, I'll, I'll see if there's any portals. It might be some ancient underneath the ground that I can, you know, like a, what's it, but what's your own built on? How old is it? It was an old dairy farm. It's an apartment complex. Yeah. Okay. I'll try and do a full cleanse, closing portals and everything. So I'll be, I'll be out for a few minutes. Right. So let me know if it carries on. It's uh, part of the history of the ground. Yeah. 
something really bad happened about 250 years ago. Something Sorry, that's, that's Phil's wheelhouse, not mine. What? I said, that's your wheelhouse. That's not my wheelhouse. My, <laughs> nope, that's not, not my experience. Getting rid of a... Uh, yeah, yeah. Bump, I, bump in the night. <laughs> yeah, what, what's happened is someone's been killed. The, the, it's been... It's been hidden, and the person that's done it is scared to go on. So the best way of doing it is just sending it love, and I've just sent it love. And uh, I asked, I don't often ask him, I'm not even saying no, I've asked. <laughs> I asked for help, and uh, he's come down, and I think it's cleared. So if you get bumps in the house at night, message me anyway. Okay. okay, thank you. I, I, I actually saw the event, so uh, someone was running away and the other one shot him in the back. So that's what I saw. Okay. Wasn't nice. But normally vibration, when you're laying in bed, when the bed vibrates, that's normally telling you that there's a higher being with you, like an archangel. Or you're getting downloads, either one of those. And you, you're you vibrating, not the bed. It's, it's you vibrating. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not this. <laughs> so, I'm, yes, I understand that now. Was there anything else that you needed, Deb? Uh, just to see if there's anything else with me, if I have any attachments or anything on me. That, I didn't get anything on you. You look all hey. clear. You look all clear. That's wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Shall I brag and say that's my healing recently? Or shall I yes. leave that one? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi, Diane. It's good to have you here. Okay, Joan, we're ready for you. Hi, David Rick. Hi, Bill. Hi, darling. Good to see you. To see you. Um, can I have a, a, a link, please? Okay. You said you want some healing. I think you could give me the healing, actually, looking at that. But, uh, I don't know I feel. <laughs> but I'll give you some healing anyway. You just want more, don't you? That's what it is. <laughs> Maybe I have some attachments. <laughs> you haven't got any attachments. Right, I'll give you some healing. You're clean, she has so many. No attachment? Nope. Why, why my heart is so kind of blocky? Mm -hmm. I was kind of neutral. Why is and what? My, my heart is kind of, uh, it's kind of shielding or something. Father says protection. Protection. Thank you. Up here, up here, you're you're protecting yourself. Oh. So it's up here, your brain. You're you're protecting yourself. So um, from what? What are you protecting yourself from? I don't know. <laughs> that's, a, that's what you need to figure out. Uh, you know that already. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what he said. You're the one shielding it. <laughs> okay. 
you just got to download, so that might help you. I don't know what it is. It's not my download, it's yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, you're protecting yourself from something, but he, he said you, you're you holding back. Hmm. Phil said you just got to download, so that will help you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Devin. Reed. Uh -huh. Paul, my friend Paul McCarthy. Yeah. Okay, I'm unmuted. Hi there, Phil. Hi there, Derek. Hey. And everyone. Um, so I'd like um, the full Monty, Phil. The full Monty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not taking my clothes off. Sorry. Uh, okay then. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that humour, Phil. Um, that's great, that's great. Um, some healing. Um, I have some gastro problems, um, acid reflux, and I'd like to shift it if I can. Okay. Ah, can you see me? Bob, this says you need to release it. Sorry? Father says you need to release it. You have to believe that it's gone, so. Okay. The healing's gonna happen for you, but you're gonna have to release it. You've gotta realize that it's healed. You've been holding on to it too long. Well, it's been you a long have time. To it. Yes, yeah. you have to release it this time. Okay. okay? You have to let it go. And, you know, we can tell you all, the, all we want that it's gone. But you gotta release it yourself this time. All right. I got it. As of today, it's gone. Let it's okay. it go. Let <laughs> it start coming back. Yes. So thank it for its experience, and watch it go bye bye. So picture no. it all, picture it, thank it, say thank you. I've enjoyed it. You Thank you for the experience and watch it go out the window. Picture gone. No more. So your esophagus is all healthy again. Your stomach is all healthy again. There's no more red and irritation. No more heartburn, no more stomach upsets. You can eat what you want. No more, pills, no more tablets. You don't have it anymore. Okay, fantastic. Like you're 20 years old. Your stomach is like, like it's, what, you're 20 years old again. Well, I'm 20 years old in my head. That's right. <laughs> it's all high. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it in your... I don't see that you have it any longer. It doesn't exist. And I can see inside your body. And was it to do with the esophagus uh, valve? Yeah, you know, at the, at the end of your at the end of your esophagus, the acid reflux, it reflux shows there and in your stomach. All well, that it's all to do with it. Mm. Yes. Okay. It's all clear. Thank you very much. Thank you, Phil. Did you see anything else, Phil? Was there anything else? Uh, you, you, you need to be positive thinking as well. Be more positive right. thinking about things. Don't dwell on stuff. Yeah, okay. Well, I've been having a difficult time recently. Um, mm. My wife is uh, ill in hospitals and uh, it's been quite uh, difficult. 
Yeah. She is? Yeah. Jackie, you know? Yeah. Who we had a session with. She's in hospital at the moment. Um, and she's been there for two weeks. Um, and still trying to diagnose properly because it seems like it's now really a purely mental problem as much as anything. It's purely a, a psychiatric problem. Because so, she didn't seem ill when, when we... Well, uh, she, had, she had liver cirrhosis, which was causing problems, but she had an underlying depression, um, which she found very difficult to handle. And being the personality she is, was quite stubborn about help and refusing it. So now she's in hospital and they've been running all kinds of tests and things and brain scans and MRI. Um, and it's indeterminate, but it seems to be at that psychic sort of level, really. Um, yeah. Oh, so Paul, I, it, it, can you send a picture of her? Uh, message me uh, with a picture of her and I'll okay. see what I can do overnight. Yeah. Well, what, what, yeah, what's happening is when you have something bad that's happening in your life, it's like a negative energy. And mm. if you've got if you've got any ailments, it feeds that negative energy and makes it worse. Or if you've got anything that you think is wrong with you, it will manifest more from the negative mm. energy uh, from the worry. The worry will will uh, turn into uh, a problem. Yeah. So, since she's been in hospital, you've probably been not as well as you normally mm. are. No, I'm feeling unbalanced. Yeah, yeah, feeling unbalanced, and obviously, sleeping is very, very peculiar. And uh, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not a balanced feeling at all. Mm. Yeah. Um, but trying to maintain that balance is, is you know, it's difficult. So I meditate uh, quite a lot actually. Now I find myself sitting up in bed in the middle of the night meditating. Um, and that's helping me a lot, of course. So that's my like, resource. Um, but nevertheless, um, the concern for someone you love. Yeah. Yeah. Particularly as we, there's no, um, it's indeterminate what the outcome would be. Yeah. Yeah. So I appreciate that offer, Phil, and I will certainly um, find a picture. And, I didn't um, let you visit her. Pardon? Only, I only I, let I've, only, visit. I've only just been able to visit once. Um, so within the last fortnight, I have been able to visit, but they've just started to allow visitation. And I, and I did visit her, and um, it's as if when I was there, it was always like um, she felt so much better already. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's obviously uh, she's experiencing um, um, psychotic episodes during the night, and um, it's very disturbing for her. Of course, and I get maybe texts at four in the morning or three in the morning, um, which don't make sense. Um, so it's a difficult situation for her, and also for obviously everyone that is connected to her. So um, we feel. Um, emotionally uh, um, sort of wrecked really so you know just kind of yeah yeah so trying trying to hold it all together as it were you know so any yeah. anything I can do um, I feel I need to make myself stronger as well that's the thing I think um, um, because of the position I occupy um, I need to be strong for my the entire family, really. Yeah. Just like a cup, yeah. yeah. So I feel I'm managing that okay. Um, but I'd very much want to her to get better, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, just just email me the picture and I'll, I'll send it on to, to Bill. Right, okay, I'll yeah. do that, thank you. Yeah. You don't mind me asking, you, none of you have had the vaccine, have you? Pardon? Have you had the vaccine or has she had the vaccine? Yes, yes, I have, yeah. Right. What's your feelings about this? I mean, you've talked about the vaccine. It seems controversial to me. Mm. I had AstraZeneca. 
Um, all, all, all of them are. <laughs> uh, yeah. Tell me, tell me what you're really thinking about this. Yeah. Wait, when she had the vaccine, is it happened since or was it before? No, this happened before the before yeah. the vaccine. Yeah, way right. before that. Okay. I mean, you're talking about a history of first of all alcohol um, dependency for several years, um, which then comes to light as a, suddenly you find you're ill. But of course, it was creeping up all the time, and then the. Um, psychological disturbance um, seems to be persistent but the vaccine was well Jackie had her first her first um, jab a couple of weeks ago before she went into hospital um, but it, but you're not really saying Phil what you're thinking about vaccines uh, it's just that if I'm if I'm going to try and heal it overnight, I've got to be careful because I don't know. Dad doesn't know. We don't know. Uh, right. We, it, because it's an unknown. Every even the, even the specialists say it's unknown. So spiritually, because, I've got I've got to try and uh, because it, um, it's a it's a created thing which is imperfect. Mm. Yeah. 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 Vibrationally, it's not correct. Mm. Is that what it, you're saying? It, yeah, yeah. It's it's a bit like when I when I heal cancer patients. I'm more ill from the radiation of the what we've had, the actual right. cancer. The cancer I can I, I can manipulate and everything, but the the actual sometimes when they've had therapy, radiotherapy it actually affects me uh, and makes me ill. <laughs> right. So I've, right. I've always got to be careful. So. Because my understanding is that the perfect vaccine um, would be something developed at such a fine level, a quantum level. Yeah. Of is that correct? Am I correct? Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Which one day we might be able to do. Um, which is why they're only partially effective, I suppose. Mm. But are you I saying? That, are you saying, Phil, that you would, you wouldn't bother with a vaccine? Or is that what you're saying? That's my opinion. I wouldn't do it. Um, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have it. It manipulates your DNA. But you're okay. But you're obviously as a healer, then you have mm. more insight into that. But if if you're not a healer and you're just an ordinary folk in the street, what are you going to do? What the, people the, do? The, the vaccine's very low vibration. Right. Yeah, so that's what, that's why I wouldn't have it in risk. The vibration's too low. Right. Uh, uh, and you you feel that because of um, your understanding, should we say? that you would need to have it anyway. Mm. That you yeah. would already, that you would not, if you were exposed to that virus, what are you saying? That you would be able to eliminate that virus anyway? Mm. Yeah. 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 But, 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 my, my, my own opinion, this is my, the virus is just a little bit more than the flu. It's not, you're not getting thousands of people that have died on the street. Now I no. know a lot, a lot, of, a lot of things happening with India at the moment. It seems that every time there's a problem, they're trying to plug the vaccine uh, with fear. That's my yes. opinion. Right. And uh, I, I've seen a lot of information on it, and I think the best thing, if anyone wants to have the vaccine, is to research it, but not on normal media. I mean, normal but media is paid by. Uh, the Gates Foundation, basically. Yeah, okay. Um, but people are dying. People are dying from it, aren't they? But what, what are you saying those numbers? That are, the people that are uh, dying yeah. from it have other issues. They've right. got other underlying issues. Ninety. It's 99.3% uh, you know, that you can survive from this. It's, it's, it's a bad flu. It's not something right. that's... Of course, yeah. it, it, in the UK, if you look at the figures of the death of 2020 yeah. and 2014, old death, 2014 was I. That doesn't add up. Does no. it? It doesn't well, add up. you have to, obviously, I, you put it into context with the death rate anyway, um, mm. other things. Um, so that those figures are not put side by side. Um, so what I'm getting from what you're saying then is that um, 
people were going to die anyway of something. Mm -hmm. um, but the uh, the virus is something of an illusion. Are you saying that? That if something is creating some kind of illusion? Can you answer that, Dev? I know what my answer is. <laughs> well, um, it, I, it, they, it's they, got, didn't it, cure, they did not cure cancer hmm. and heart disease, but and yet they, you know, they, the numbers for those have gone down suddenly. Yeah. How did that happen? Right. So, say that again. So the cancer. So they have not. They have not cured cancer and heart disease. But how did those numbers go down? And it's just COVID that people have died from. So you yeah. can't tell me that. So they just haven't report. They're reporting people that really truly died of heart disease and cancer as COVID. People have died in car accidents. It's COVID. Do you understand what I'm saying? That they don't. Well, I get if well, this is what that grounds, um, who is who is reporting that? Because that would be that would require a lot of different kinds of uh, medical agencies to be misreporting something, wouldn't it? That is correct. Um, can, 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 I, I'm not getting political here, but if you look at the Bill Gates Foundation and you look at all the funding, he funds the CDW, he funds the U, he funds yes. all the media, he, fund, he funds Oxford University, he funds uh, Foucher, he funds uh, the British Health. Uh, Understand all that, yeah. They fund it all. And to me, it looks like uh, he's got his pies in everywhere. So I, yeah. I don't believe in the media well i understand that and also is also the biggest landowner in america mm. uh, i also heard that he'd um, he actually um, died in 2004 and had a soul switch mm. and he's not the soul in him now is a different entity i don't i don't want to get too much involved in in okay. this conversation However, um, what I would just like to add is that whatever decision, any decision people make, yes, whatever it is, right. that is the right decision for you. Yes. So okay. have at least, you know, if you're kind of wavering now or for anyone, um, you know, whatever decision you've made, that is the correct one. And it's great that's what you've decided to do exactly that is perfect for you oh Here i is. understand i understand that principle Rhonda. uh but obviously in this group here um we want the truth of the matter don't we well and i think that's what they're that's what they're bringing is you know it is that information and again i don't i don't want to my opinion doesn't matter it matters to me um mm -hmm. And that's good enough for me, but um, you know, going through going through all of this, um, I mean, they're basically saying what they feel. Right. Needs and my truth may not be someone else's truth. Yes, um, and so um, the hospital also said that there was no cases of the flu, which makes no sense. So all of a sudden, there's no cases of the flu. Can right. I just say? It's a, uh, I'm do that. <laughs> it's a political compliance system that the deaths have been completely um, fictionalized. It says on the British government website that um, it's not even been a highly contagious disease um, in this country since March the 20th last year. And um, I just, and there's loads more to it that I, 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 I I mean, I was invited to this meeting and I didn't know if I was to speak or not. I don't really know about this group, but um, I know a lot of things on this issue that are uh, um, in the truth of community. I mean, there's a lot even in the tr truth of community that's a little bit overstated. Yeah. Is it all right for me to speak up or? Yeah, how yeah that's fine. Well, fine. I suppose we're we're trying to get at the truth and get away from the get away from paranoia aren't we um, um well, the truth is if you take the pensions from the old the truth is it's a silent genocide the truth is it's a compliance system look at the people that make the money the masks look at the people the corruption 
look at the um look at this look at the high street our high street those corporations all banded together every shop is now the same all the staff's gone all the robots have come in for us serving ourselves they are they have just a conglomerate what i don't know how you say that word a conglomeration uh, they've they've all there's just a few isn't there that own everything and if yes. you look around now that who is who's pulling the strings it's um agenda it 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 it's one side of it it's agenda 2021 the other side of it is less nefarious i mean i've worked with the galactics and the archangels and i've learned to heal through um the violet flame and other modalities and now archangel metatron has come in and he's introduced me to the black obsidian flame that he likes to um he likes to band around and we've been handing it around today um i've had a little bit of an issue recently because i was very extroverted and i've been through some stuff recently and and apparently my healing abilities have been stripped from me and i've become quite introverted i've gone from i allegedly so they tell me right brain to left brain thinking it's horrible it's dysplasia dys dyspraxia that's what it feels like i channeled so much during the final lockdown i mean i've never worn a mask never no one tells me what to do with sovereign citizens no one will give me the jab nothing i've been to hospitals spoken to police none of them have made me none of them can force me but during the last lockdown i was forced away from it all and um i i've got video evidence of the jin the the demonic entity that was sent to me that i helped to transmute it's on my facebook um and then the angelic ones too that that they were on my older sister's cctv well the devil himself didn't frighten me at all in fact i laughed in his face until i helped someone on the street rid their family line of three demonic entities but i didn't know truly what i was doing and i trusted the wrong guide which turned out to be archangel samuel um and he took over and i ended up battered i battered myself i had knives at myself and they the my guides have said to me the only way they got me to survive it and not take my life was to take a part of me that i needed and i just wondered if you could heal this for me so that i could move forward in my life as i was before i mean there's so much more and i feel a bit weird just coming on here and spare <laughs> it the best way you can get everything back in the underworld everyone thinks it's bad there's a, a very dark side and a very light side and you need to go to the light side and get blessed by the goddesses of earth there and i might better take you that so it, if it's in time today we'll see if we can do that thank you uh, yeah uh, i had a i had a vampire on me a energy vampire on me that wouldn't let go and my guide it's a dragon took me there for full blessing because I was dying it was taking about if you it, an ela can channel loads and loads of energy out the more energy i channeled the more the vampire had so i was dying i i couldn't channel enough so i had to get blessed and not the, the goddess is called the cord and what you do you lie down in the white sea of the underworld and right. the goddess is of a goblin and they pour it over you while we're doing the uh, ancient song and wow. tongue, tongue so if we don't that, get time to do it today would you do it for me anyway please that would yeah. be phenomenal yeah that's fine and yeah. um, the goddess carly's been around recently will she be involved do you think i don't know what the goddess is of the underworld of course actually it might be it might Lilith. be Lilith. <laughs> that's Lilith. Oh, she's, it, my, she's my heritage my um our, um my um my ancestral line Lilith and Samael. All oh, right. So Samael should... with the entity mm. that I captured on video. Mm. That's a good one. We'll have to have a talk after this. Yeah, sounds interesting. Awesome. Awesome.
So I just wanted to, a quick message to Paul was, uh, and Star actually mentioned it. So Paul, the answer is follow the money and you yes. will get what you're looking for. Yes, I, I understand I understand economics in that sense, yeah, and how... Yeah. Oh, Paul, the, the only reason I ask you about the uh, vaccine is if I'm healing your wife, I need to, to take certain precautions in Astro because I don't actually know. So at least I know that I might have to heal her with the contents of what she's had with the vaccine as well as what's wrong with her. You okay. Get that. Yeah. Well, so, in principle, yeah, I understand. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah, my, I, my, guide, my guide, Phil, my guide yeah. just said, um, and I'm giggling here because Raphael um, is allegedly now in the distance. He's just said, you don't have to take any of that on. You do not have to take any of that into you, son. That's what they're saying right now. Oh, you know, yeah. my friend, and this is how I'm doing it. This is how they're putting me to it. You know, my friend, you will not take any more of that into your system. You let it out. Let it out and let it stay out. Do not take any more. Ooh, <laughs> that was unusual. I've not done it in, in this side of my brain before. Normally it's a lot different to that. It's because you're here, that's what it is. I've got, I've got such a pull down my back and I know that my, I've had energy attachments and things put into me because that blinking end that that dim, that dark energy um drained my life force for two years um and apparently i only survived because i'm very strong but um that's what they've done to me again since meddling with things they said that i shouldn't have done on my own they've put me back they've put me back into it so that i can jolly well learn a lesson from people that's different to me mm. is this a regular meeting uh, once a month, but ne next next week we're doing uh, one for Australia, New Zealand. But it, it will be in four hours from now. In next uh, uh, next week, Saturday evening. So we, we were trying to work out what 12 p.m. or a.m. is in UK, and at 12 p.m. in the UK is different to 12 p.m. in America. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know how that's possible. <laughs> 12 p.m. in the UK is in the evening. 12 p.m. in America is dinner time. 12 a.m. 12 <laughs> p.m. is noon time. Yeah, but yeah, it's and 12 mid, a.m. Midnight. is midnight. Yeah, in tw 12 p.m. here is midnight. It's typical America, England. Mix oh. it around. <laughs> yeah. Phil, I'm going to add you on Facebook if you don't mind. Yeah, it's fine. Yes, once a month we do um, this at, for at this time. Well, at, at, at uh, six p.m. Six p.m. is it in the UK? Yeah. And then we do at midnight in Australia uh, in the UK and nine a.m. in Australia, Sydney, Australia. We're starting in the Southern Hemisphere next weekend. Okay. Next question. Are we done with that one? Yeah. Well, I think we beat it to death. So, so <laughs> just just so I'm clear, then <laughs> you're saying that um, the vaccines would maintain a low vibration. Is that, yes. Would, it, would, would you conclude but, that? You know, mm. it's it's you know it's it's. There's no judgment. Right. Right. But I'm talking, let's say I'm talking technical, if you like, or, you know, from that point of view, without any judgment, that's what it would do. It would maintain a low vibration. So, because if it was fraught, because it was, if it is of a low vibration, then it certainly wouldn't raise your vibration. Right. No. No. But you're, what you're saying, Phil, it, depends, uh, it depends on the vaccine. Every vaccine is different. There's one that changes your DNA. There's a few of them that change your DNA, actually. Mm, that, yeah. um, I'm not sure which one. There's, um, there's 
Uh, some, there's a doctor that can tell you the difference between them, I think. There's if, if, a all right. And, if, and, if, yeah, if that's the situation, when you're healing then, would you not be then um, eradicating that vaccine in some way? Is that part of what you're doing? If you're healing and this is wrong, or it's not correct, or it's vibrationally low, would you not be um, um, removing the vaccine in some sense? It, the way to get rid of the low vibration is to send a high frequency energy into it. But at the moment, I'm still testing that. I'm, I'm not 100% on the whole. We're all still testing it. Okay. The only, the, the only time I've been I have uh, done healing on a few people that have had the vaccine and with uh, no issues at all. And, uh, and I, I didn't ask what kind of vaccine that they had taken. And then there's other people that I wasn't able to do any healing on at mm -hmm. all. There was actually, uh, I, I wasn't, one woman, it was because she put a wall up. She had a, mm -hmm. uh, a that was she, I, put I, she put the wall up no it was not it was not the vaccine that caused it i've done healing, I've done healing on people who have been near vaccines who had headaches and were ill and by lifting the vibration of the old house it did clear it so right. people who are getting uh problems near vaccine people it that's clear very easily clearable by just lifting right. the old yeah, it house really depends vibration. on the person so, so what you're saying, and the danger really is that um, because it's it's working at a very subtle level to do with um, DNA, mm. um, is where the uh, is where the issue is. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's restructuring DNA instructions. Yeah. yeah. But we're we're not an expert. It's supposed to be altering around the, the uh, cell, not inside it, but. I don't think they know, to be honest. <laughs> we just need to like, oh. fire our vibrations anyway, don't we? Because at the end of the day, we don't. If we if we're in three D, we get a cold. If we're not in three D, we don't get a cold. Um, and so, just raise raise vibrations anyway. Phil, mm. um, no, no, sorry, Phil. Uh, the other man, the, the the other man that was just talking. Do you, oh, are you into yeah. crystals oh. by any chance, Paul? Oh, sorry, are you in, are you into crystals by any chance? Do you? No. Do you have, I, I, um, there are some crystals in the house, but I had no idea how to use them. Uh, <laughs> Paul's been awake for many, many years, but much longer than my, many of us. <laughs> oh, I'm not suggesting anything. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not suggesting anything. I just see a man that's concerned, and I don't want him to be concerned because that would be 3D. Right. I would like just to say my darling friend if you grab a crystal and we're yeah. gonna do a little spot of healing with the archangel style that's all he just they, they just want to try it through me in this mood they've got me in and okay. this place they've got me in because it's quite uncomfortable for me normally this stuff i'm doing it like like this everywhere but this is just weird so if you grab a crystal all right you're listen. Gonna go, <laughs> okay, I'll go and get the crystal, all right? Thank Excuse me you. a moment. <laughs> awesome. I want to know who's going to come through. Who Who are you speaking through, if I may ask? Archangel Raphael Michael. Gabriel, I think. I'm not hearing any more, possibly. Awesome. They're, they're pulled back. <laughs> I can't see them. They've blocked my third eye for being naughty. <laughs> Very good. I'm excited for you. You go for it. I'm always on the naughty step. That's why they make me infiltrate meetings and talk over people. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm the worst for that one. I'm the worst. <laughs> my name's Sharon, by the way. I'm back. Okay, this right, is a crystal. That's a quartz ah, rose quartz. I looked at one of those, I picked up the emerald. Right, sir, on your forehead it goes. Now, pop okay. it on your forehead and okay. channel all the love in your heart, all the love from your heart, through your dragons, through your forehead, 
and let me see what you feel. Tell me what you feel right now, my friend. What do you feel? Oh, I've got a solar plexus thing going because my hand's moving around my solar plexus. Ah, uh, check. I feel a little vibration in my head. Back of my head's feeling it. What kind see. of knob do you feel is what I've just heard behind me they're saying. We look like I, Daleks. I don't get a, a, lot, a lot of sensation of, of this, so forgive me if I don't uh, report anything back. But That's okay. They said we just raised your vibration because we made you laugh. You, yeah. you were very concerned. <laughs> we needed to make you laugh. Okay. Because everybody else stays focused, please. Now what did you feel? I just blew a dragon kiss straight into your forehead. That's the Empress Carly I'm hearing. Well, Let me pull you a card. They want me to pull you a card. And you carry <laughs> on. I'll just do this quietly in the background. Sorry. I'm, I missed what you said there. It said that I'm getting a message they're removing toxins from his body through the crystal. Awesome. That was a question. What helps me remember that all things are still possible for me and the intention, the possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. Okay. How's your well, head? My head's fine. Um, um, Have you activated that crystal now? Well, I don't know. You tell me, darling. <laughs> are you feeling unconditional love? Uh, I feel that quite a lot, actually. Well, um, that's the that's the, the rose quartz, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, is it? Is it? I, I suppose, has it yeah. just helped your heart chakra? Did you have yeah, a blockage, I mean, or you good? I don't know. I think um, over the last um, couple of years, I felt an expansion of heart, and um, you know, I, I think if anyone I meet, even if they're just strangers, I would feel love for them. I stopped feeling that for a while. I really, really did so, stop feeling that. I was so loving, it was unreal. So I can um, I can see um, the unity of myself in others and others in me. Um, the, the whole thing as one. I can see that um, in my daily life. Um, yeah. So, Paul, Paul, that crystal now is, uh, is, is it's alive, there's it's a spirit in there. So every time you feel down, just put it to your forehead. Right, sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Can I, do I take it off now? You can take it off now. <laughs> no, 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 you've got to have it on for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Gabriel, or Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel, P. Hello, guys. Speak. Hi, Gabriel. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, yeah. I can hear you. Hello, she everyone. Like <laughs> healing. A healing today. You can tap okay. in and... Uh, I'll just carry on with you. Right, thank you. Okay. Thanks, Phil. Something going on with your fallopian tubes. I thought I was going to start my period, but um, it hasn't. Uh, last one I had was in January, so I've just been trying to send energy and stuff and see. Looks like they're swollen. It's almost like they're um okay, that's just um mm. I 
had a jam like session with uh, Jim last week and um, they tapped into the water and they said there was sulfur in it. They did like a power blast, but I'm gonna, um, trying to find somebody to come out and we, if we get the water tested, then we can send the report in. Maybe they could try to fix that. Do you smell rotten eggs when the water's in your house? When you turn the water on, does it smell like eggs? Or Not eggs? like eggs exactly, but it doesn't smell good. Everywhere I've lived, kind of had crappy water all my life, so. Gabrielle, do you have fluoride free? I'm sorry. She didn't hear you. I'm oh, sorry. I just um, floor. I went fluoride free uh, for my third eye to to open up. I just wondered if if Gabrielle had done that too. If she could maybe drink fluoride free. I mean, I with my guides did. Um, we did a ritual where I turned all the water in here from fluoride. Um, to, after I, for months, I drank fluoride free completely. I changed my toothpaste. I drank um, honey, lemon, and um, cider vinegar and cinnamon. And then I, um, I did a a ritual to Ra and uh, the, the 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 sun god. And um, and then my third eye started to open. So I just wondered if there was something like that that Gabrielle could do to protect her from from the icky water. Um, I'll look into that. I usually, um, like before I eat or drink anything, I ask my angels to bless and purify it. And, um, but I'm open to different stuff, so. Uh, I'll look into that and see. Apparently, Gabrielle, wear something green tomorrow and have complete uh, faith that your water is now perfection. Archangel Gabriel's just spoken up in the back. Perfect. Will do. Emerald green, something emerald green he wants you in. Or to <laughs> hold or whatever. Okay. Just, yeah. Gotcha. And you also have emerald green on the inside too. So. Okay. Yeah. It's your heart chakra. Have you done some heart chakra affirmations? Um. No, not specifically. Um. Well, I did a couple affirmations today. I don't know if you're picking up on that. But um, that was like, I felt drawn to do David's post about opening up and restructuring your DNA and accepting in what's for your highest good. But yeah, some heart affirmations. I can start doing that. There's some brilliant ones online. I've, um, I've um, copied a load of them. I was going to write a course on it. Oh, that's awesome. Or a brochure, at least. I didn't know where to start. Just writing it down, probably. Just write it down, it'll all come together. You are gorgeous, do you know that? Aw, thank you. And so is everyone on here. I was like, I was really feeling out of place, and then I come on the group. And it's just, it's so nice to connect and hear everybody else. I'm like, oh, I look forward to Saturdays. <laughs> Thank we you. can relax now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good to see you. It's good to see you. I'm feeling lighter. Thank you, everyone. Oh, good. Good. Oh, Victoria's here. Hi, Victoria. Um, 
Hello, iPhone everyone. has her granddaughter again. Victoria will be right after her iPhone again. iPhone has her granddaughter with her. Yeah, that's me again. This little one right here. She's constantly getting attachments. And oh, I she, want to know. How is it? A, a baby doesn't get attachments. Well, how she, is she getting she, attachments? I don't know if she gets them from like what I feel off, but she gets like really devilish, like demons, like out of nowhere. And I, I'll play, uh, like, uh, I have this one meditation where it's for like eight minutes and it removes all attachments, anything that can be trying to like hold on. And as soon as I play it, she's always good right after. Well, a baby, so I don't know if it's that a baby or if it's just a house. A baby reacts to your energies. You say, I'm hearing that's transference. I'm hearing that it's our job as adults to take it from that child. And that's transference. And we shouldn't allow that to happen these days. So you're jolly well going to have to take it, lady. Because the child oh, cannot. I do. The child I do. cannot. That's, I, this, this isn't me. That I'm, the, I'm the messenger here. I'm just the one that they put it through my mouth. And we mean that in the most positive and loving sense. I took on all attachments from my creatures and everything around me, so I know it can be done. I wouldn't let any. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I do. I just, I don't know if it, it would be. Don't. It, Babies don't okay. get attachments. But they, okay. but they, when they get, yeah, when I, they get their their moods are, are are a reflection of what they're getting from you. Their energy uh, comes yeah. from you. Well, they're a message yeah. to us. Well, well, that, that I I had put at the bottom like a couple questions down. I put that I wanted um my daughter, which I've been talking to Phil about because she lost her husband last year to a gunshot to the head. So it really like affected the whole house you know and since then we, i've been helping her raise her two children on her own and i know that you know she was interested in looking to see if maybe anything was attached to her because i don't feel it's coming from me but i do feel it's coming from her mom and no 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 I, no I what, yeah what's happening what's happening is she's she's grounding him because uh, of the pull she won't let go. Uh, so that's all the negativity that's being created. So I, I, I'll, I will eventually sort that out with a separate one between you okay. and uh, but, but basically, it's because of what's happened, she's holding him, she's stopping him going forward, not going to the spirit world. Yeah, she's on really dark people around her lately and I feel it affecting the whole house so maybe if she's willing to do the healing I'll give him the phone to her if you guys can like scan and just see you know what can be done she just cool. needs to speak call out to Archangel Uriel in the masculine or feminine form Archangel Uriel's there for you completely and totally and look for I see when I when I've assisted spirits go from this world to the light, I've seen big grey blue wings and a castle in the background, and that that's the picture that they send to me. But I didn't. Yeah. Know. She's there for you too. I'm hearing now. She, she's there for you too. Reach out to her. She's got your hand. She's got your baby's hand, she said. She's sealed it all up now, completely and totally. There's no need to worry. Give that baby heart, that angel heart I'm hearing, a big, big love and hug and kiss, all from us. <laughs> your girl, you in the background, that smile, phenomenal. You've got this, buddy. Honestly, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me. What's your name? Abriana. Abriana. Or Adriana. Abriana. Abriana. Imagine, imagine, imagine you're holding a rose quartz and an emerald, and they're your two your two heart chakras. So your higher heart chakra is pink and your lower heart chakra is green. 
see them rolling and rolling and rolling together. Imagine what colour that makes. Does anybody know what green and pink makes? Is it a kind of purple? Who is purple? <laughs> well, Archangel Michael's there for you too, then, he's safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down. Stay. 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 Oh, I'll just let Bob lock it up. Yeah? Yeah. Give me that bag. It's food? Wendy, you got a mute. Abriana needs to know how beautiful she is and how, how, how much this planet is better for her and her family upon it. That her... Was that, was that your... (laughs) your fella in, in that's gone to spirit it was her husband uh, your husband he's around he is around and he said my friend I love her very much she is the best mom of the best moms of the best mamas on this world that's how he's just put it into my mind I don't know if that's how he talks or anything but he wants you to know please let go I've got you i adore you i love you i'll be forever in your heart and your mind and i'll hold my darling daughter's hand through everything that she ever goes through and you too please mom kiss kiss her on her forehead please right now that's what he's saying please on her forehead she is the most gorgeous (laughs) beautiful creature on the planet there you go now he's at peace now he's at peace and he said please love me but let me go in a good way (laughs) (laughs) i love you we've got this just let it out Thank you. Thank you. Are we completed? All right. We have Victoria. She has a question for Phil. Hi. So in December, there were a lot of energies that came in. There was the uh, the total portal, and then then. For me, the solar flash came in, the one that was anticipated for a lot of people, but it's a, it's basically for the personal journey, so not everyone will see it the way it is. Do you hear me? Yes, I do. Good. Um, so sometimes I face in and out, and um, so what I saw was uh, my blue heart connecting with the Christ conscious, consciousness grid, and then the threefold flames was blazing like crazy all over. And, you know, I took your advice uh, a few months back and told me to sync my vibration, you know, um, so I ate a lot of chips, chocolates, meat, and, you know, stuff to just lower my vibration. Like, seriously, I mean, I watched a lot of Chinese drama TV series, um, but, um, you know, so what happened was, you know, there was things that were going on. Um, and I don't really want to bring it up on the um, on this session here, but there was something interesting about the the back. You mentioned back because I know that uh, we are getting upgrades and everything, and you know our bodies are being worked on. So my lower back had been um, having these feelings in these last few months. I can't really say it's um, painful or anything, but it's discomfort in a way. But the um, there was kind of like a 
you know how your body changes um like it used to be that you're rooted from the root chakra held into the ground but it seems like it's possible that my system changed and was being rooted from my heart instead and so you know the crystal lotus came through and everything like that during that period as well and um so i was wondering if you so what i'm trying to say is my sac my chakra system changed this is what i feel into a uh, i guess a more divine blueprint or something mm-hmm. so um i was wondering if you have that experience with you in these last few months if that's um something going on with you with that not me back uh i did i have uh, connected to i aspects of me like crystal source uh and i i just think and this these aspects people don't know this you can actually be that aspect i know that So I have a feeling that you're getting aya and you're meeting at a very aya aspect. I actually I can see you as a star. Is that have you ever been told that? Sorry? I can actually see you as, as a star. I pass avatar consciousness. Hmm. If you understand what that means. Not really, but <laughs> say uh, it again. There's, there's different level of consciousness and I pass avatar consciousness meaning Yeah. you you know i don't have to die to go through the process of rebirth or gaining you know mm. filling yourself embodying the light like you used to before back in the day you have to pass over i, I went through the resurrection phase and like literally i left and came back mm. so you've already ascended yes i already ascended that's mm. basically an easier way to put it yeah yeah so i was wondering if um if you know anything about you know if there's anything you can share with me for the um i guess the that part of the experience having your blue heart connected more of the higher frequency things that I might uh, I I think you're connecting to a very high aspect of yourself and you'll be coming a bit like that aspect and you've just got to take it and enjoy it. I am yeah. enjoying it, but I keep crashing thing. It took me 20 minutes just to get on here. It because your energy was affecting the And 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 my and my um what do you call it? My um and I broke like destroyed fried the laptop. And I didn't want to fry this one. This one was like Don't, don't cry. <laughs> this one was flipping around. I'm trying like you know I tried to keep it balanced the energy balance in me. But I like I I tried to slow down with my energy and everything like that. Then I have have I ever told you to have an on and off switch with that power? Mm. Have you ever tried an on and off switch? I don't use it much. That's the thing. This is why I don't um I don't you know I don't want to really I have other things in mind that I'm doing because I have actually a different purpose to be here something different so I I'm not a a reader a healer or a channeler for like for, like for for work you understand for a profession but um not a teacher in that sense either but I I've got a, I've got a suggestion that I I have this crystal here and it transmutes dark to light yeah so if i'm in a, a place and it's i'm healing i leave it in there and it'll turn it good why don't you have a crystal uh use a crystal to damp down your energy can you transfer it onto the crystal yeah i ask the crystal to take some of the energy hmm temporarily yeah temporary so you can actually go on your electrics and uh, without frying it and uh obviously crystals what you should do is leave it in moonlight overnight clean it out then put your hand and program the crystal to be like a damp an energy damp for yourself when you want it and then connect your conscious with a crystal uh to work for you I so have... you can use your computer 
I have then, not tried to use the crystals in that sense, but I've been using the crystals in my healing, in my transmissions when I do, when I clean and transmute Gaia. I use hmm. it in the astral. So I use crystals. Yeah. Um, try that, try that then. I, yeah. I think you, you need an energy damper. I think you're too powerful. <laughs> I mean... Um, Which is good. I mean... Um, Do you have a message? Anyone have a message for me? Yeah. Because, because I, I, I know that Deb met, uh, sent me an email just that other t a few days ago and the next day the creator came through because I wasn't like paying attention. <laughs> you know me, right? <sighs> Gosh. Yeah. So anyone has a message for me? Because I know okay, someone else. Michael just said he protects technology. He did mine to call out to him for your computer problems also check your root chakra and do some affirmations for your root chakra and see orange maybe use an orange crystal like citrine um because um when we're clumsy sometimes that means our root chakras aren't aligned so check that out and if you check all your chakras and the, the best 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 thing i could introduce to anyone anywhere is the healing I learned was the emotion code. And I read the emotion code and I did exactly what it told me not to do. And it worked spiffingly. It got me into some scrape and some trouble, but um, all you need to do is be introduced to your higher self and know that you can ask your higher self any questions. It says in the book that you're only allowed to ask yes or no. And so if you stand up and use your body as a pendulum, your higher self will chat to you that way and then learn to release negative, energetic, uh, trapped emotions from the meridian lines. I do mine through here. And then when I do it on someone else, I do it down the back. And these are all things the angels want us all to do together. Because then once the chakras are aligned, and once the energetic trapped emotions are gone, then our angelic guides, they continue that for us. They take care of our chakras and we then learn to heal others because we're all healers, really. Well, I, that period of time, I, I know that the reason why my lower chakras was like the spine, lower spine area was a little off was because I was watching too much drama on TV and positioned in a bad place and so but you know that can be easily fixed with just you know, a meditation or two here um, for me the you know energy just the kudalini energy just goes straight back up it's not yeah. too difficult for me to do but yeah thank you for that information it's just that sometimes I'm lazy and you know I forget about the clearing and the energies like that says that I have to watch my energies and shielding uh, more, more carefully. Victoria, the reason why your chakra system's changing is you've got another aspect connecting to you and it's just getting ready because you've got to change a little bit to get ready. So uh, it's a very high vibration and you've got to just change your chakras to allow for it. I am connected with my old soul and my the monad. It, this this uh, this is a source being this connection. Is, I know, I, I know. I just went, I I I went into the crossroad with all my um, with all my soul lineage. Let's put it that way. And mm. there were so many. It was like it was like a path, like you know, the crossroad. And I have seen like I think every twelve lines, like. The army of troops like keep going like, back and forth like just keep crossing and crossing it just seems like i those were all my higher selves those were all my part of my soul aspects it seems like you know there could be like like billions of them if you know what i mean but i i i, I, I think i think we're connected you know we're all souls together yes. i think we're connected i think our crystal source beings are connected yes. So what I saw was a whole bunch and I saw different animals and different um, 
humanoid beings and ET types of races and stuff like things, elementals even, basically whatever that we all experience in our lifetime prior to, like, you know, our memories wiped out, you know, but it was quite interesting. So I was just wondering if anyone had that, um, like if you had that experience that I had. I've seen many of me different aspects, did, but did I, you, I, I, tend, I tend to go for the higher ones. <laughs> yeah, did you, because what happened is when that solar flash came through, right? I saw a big, the big flash of like golden of the golden white energy coming into the galaxy in, like towards our to, from the great central sun into our galaxy and inside there it hit a, a, a number of planets so our entire galaxy got upgraded at that time it felt like a wave i felt the wave yeah i you know i had it on video and stuff it was crazy it was like i was up for the whole month because of the energies i was anchoring the energy in i was up I think I only had like 48 hours of sleep the entire month. And that was in December, yes. That was pretty intense. So I think that's what the people call the summer flash. Um, it's, for me, it happened in December. I don't know if you felt it or if any of you seen it um, during that time. It happened on the, I believe, December. 26 20, 23rd I think it was 23rd or something like that 22 23 something like that it was in the, that period of time yeah the, the, the other thing I have done is I've, I've done some shadow work to, to the dark because I've been demonic in, my, in one of my lives uh, very but like I've got the higher ones I've also got very very low ones and sometimes while we're in this life clearing that is pretty good clearing all the because at the end of the day we were doing a job so it was okay but if we did it if we enjoyed it too much you can collect residue and uh, you just get rid of it get rid of the residue yeah I, I was supposed to be the uh, king of the uh, nine owls so there you go. oh sweet I, I've never told that anyone <laughs> well there's, I, there's nothing wrong with um, uh, a dark aspect in fact yeah. we need to all face it because if you don't face the darkness and have everything come out and resur like surface up mm. it, it needs to be removed from your DNA because all these uh, negative trauma and negative experience uh, are trapped within our cells in that little space and so when we release those it becomes you're able your body's able to um, absorb more light and so it, yeah, it, 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 it becomes lighter don't it? yeah so you body. basically um you know i guess you know you start being your illuminating self because you tend to glow more and be more happy and more positive the energies you carry yeah i i once went to a I won't tell you. I once went to a lower dimension to save someone and I stayed there a while because I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, the experience. <laughs> That's me for you. So. Well, sometimes um, I have to get the, um, what do you call it? Hmm. I like to watch um, um, like videos like sometimes with really emotion, really touching storylines and this way if i if i it, like almost a tearjerker almost but it's not tragic but it's just very loving and very emotional because it helps expand your heart chakra it helps mm -hmm. you keep you in line because you know we're too focused on other things in life and this allows me to feel um more love for people you know what I mean? Because you're feeling yeah. it right here, and you're and we're not feeling it right here, but in the heart and holding that. Mm -hmm. I try to get Bobby, and Bobby's gone, uh, <laughs> so I can't show. Well, Bob, Bobby's your heart space. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Advice. Thank you. Susan Mulheron is next. I think she's gone. I, uh, I was 
asked her to put me in the queue and then she had to turn off the computer. Mm-hmm. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Unless you Susan's gone. I'm I'm in the car. <laughs> We're driving somewhere now. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you wanted to walk on me, I'm here. Okay. You go ahead then. I just wanted to scan on the healing. Okay. You want some healing? Is there any question? Yeah, I'm still dealing with my skin condition. Is so it improved at all? Yeah. I'll, I'll give you some healing on yeah. What I've, what I've just done, I've upgraded your aura field to try and heal your skin problem. Okay. So I've, I've added something to the, I've added green energy actually to the aura field. So when the aura field's on the skin, it should get absorbed into the, uh, to the healing process. And, um, I got a message, Susan, that I'll talk to you about um, offline. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. Much love. You're welcome. All right, David, you needed a healing? Uh, yes. Yeah, I've been experiencing fluctuations and just high rapid pulse and just... Uh, and before, somebody was saying that there was the bone marrow, there wasn't enough red blood cells. So, I mean, anything that comes up with any type of healing, I'm trying to figure things out and get things balanced and reaching out to different places and going it within and meditation and still having past couple of days I, every time i wake up my pulse is like 90 to 100 and for you know an hour or so you look like you've improved though i you said it, it feels like i've improved a bit it looks like you've improved yes yeah, from the energy Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do a lot of light language and send healing to myself, too. So mm. hopefully that's part of it. I'll give you some more healing. Yeah, just figured any insight into that or healing, whatever, whatever feels best. There's nothing wrong with your heart. Okay. You know, do you know? I think it's either astral work or dreaming. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm doing. I just asked a question with Jim Charles that I've been working on the Stargate and the, mm. the Earth grid and a lot of stuff in astral. Mm. It's trying to separate. It's coming when you're coming back. 
You seem to have an art pulpitation from it. Oh, oh, what did you call it? You have like a pulpitation when you come back from your astro work. Yeah, yeah, like sees everything. If you know what I mean, it's like the memories coming back, and you have like a, a pulpitation on your heart. So I'll try and separate that. I'll try and do a way oh. so you come back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I've been working on just, you know, knowing that we're infinite beings and, and that it, you know, eventually should be okay, but I still get a, a little stressed about it and not sure how to separate that. Right, I'll do it. I'll put something into you, uh, I'll put like a a code in your brain to, to adjust to it, okay? If I get that, yeah. That's amazing, thank you. Okay. I, I think your body and your, is, doesn't get your astro work, and that's why uh, it's in like a semi-shock for an hour. <laughs> yeah. It's getting over it. It's like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, I get, I get like, I feel like really hot sometimes, the, the other thing, hmm? I think that's your anxiety that uh, you're thinking there's something wrong with you and you caused that yourself. Uh huh. What, the, the palpitation? Is that what you're saying? Well, it, everybody gets palpitations in the energies. It, it, it doesn't mean that you're, there's something wrong with your heart. I get heart palpitations and I know there's nothing wrong with my heart. So you go into I, fear. I've told you this before, David. Um, you know, my. It, we we all go through these 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 uh, upgrades too. When when the energies are coming into the earth, or when you're getting downloads, sometimes you get a heart palpitation. The, the heart palpitations or the fluttering in your heart doesn't mean that there's something wrong with your heart. It oh, I didn't think, think it was the heart. I just wanted to I wanted to find out you know what was going on with my my body. Like what what is going on? It's been okay crazy. <laughs> But does it mean that there's something wrong with you, David? You automatically think you're dying. You're not. You're not dying. Uh, I, I think it's David. I think it's just the astro coming back. But when I come back, when I'm healing, my body shakes violently, and I think I'm having a fit. <laughs> I can't park my soul very well. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I always stay out too long. So when I'm healing and come back, I'm like that. Ah. <laughs> and the healing thing. I'm dying, <laughs> but no, yeah. just can't part my body very well. I don't, I don't think that David's doing that in the middle of the night or coming back in the morning from that. But they, David will can call me in the daytime and, and he'll call me and say, "There's something I can't breathe, or there's something going on," because he causes it himself by getting sure. upset. I think he's got something wrong with him. But, yeah, that's you know, happened. Just, Overthinking. Yeah. But yeah, but I don't, I don't believe that that's happening every time. I'm because I've had it ex happen to me. Then it doesn't. It's not happening in the same way. I'm not doing the going into to that mode every single time because I. But every time we scanned, you, every time we've scanned you, there's been nothing physically wrong with you. Okay. Have you been rushed to the hospital with something physically wrong with you? Oh, I did. I mean, I did go to the hospital not not too long ago. Do you know, this happened to me. This happened to me, and what you've got to tell yourself is your heart is the strongest heart in all the world. That's what I had to do in the hospital because my heart's the heart, strongest heart in the world. Did one of your people die of a heart attack or something? Is there a message in it for you that you're to take, that you're to tell yourself that it's stronger than you're telling yourself? Is it your mind? Is it your heart? I believe was some experiences when I was younger, uh, there was yeah. something that happened when it was uh, it was a serious, serious thing going on. So is, is it a trauma from when you were a child and trying to release itself? Uh, there was definitely a trauma. <laughs> yeah, you didn't I, mean I, was, say that. I nearly died. There was, well, the angel said that there was three times where I should have died. Basically. What exactly so, was that? What what happened that you you should have died? I I didn't get the details on that. I just there was one time where my heart was just like it was going super fast, and I I should have called the ambulance, but I was lying on the floor and I didn't 
I didn't call them because I knew that they were going to have to break down the door, and I, I didn't. How old? Uh, how old were you? How, oh, how old was I? Yeah. Um, f- between twenty and thirty, I believe. Mm-hmm. I was I was partying too much. Mm-hmm. Can, can, you do, can you do me a favor? Can you get? Have you got a hat on or something? If you are, take your hat off. Get your hands, rub them together. Um, Archangel Metatron here says, imagine black. Now tell your heart that you have the strongest heart in all the world, that it pulsates perfectly. And if you just get your hands and put one at the bridge of your nose, take it all the way down over your meridian, down to the back of your neck. Do that 10 times and you've got an ancestral uh, negatively impacting and trapped emotion to release. So if you do it ten times, that's an astral. Which direction? Effect. I'm not sure which direction you're talking about. So from the start nose. It, start it at the bridge of your nose. So you want to go from the bridge of your nose all the way over the top of your head and all the way down to the back of your neck. One stroke and then another. Do it ten times and that's ancestral. And then do it another three times and that one's your own personal one. You add an ancestral attachment to release. So that's 13 times? 13 times, yeah. If you just go over the top of your head, down your meridian, to the back of your neck, you'll have removed an emotion and an ancestral release. And if if it asks you to cry, just cry it out. Or it might, if you listen, it might talk to you. It might want to be known. Another thing, David. Yes. Uh, if you had a trauma when you were a child, sometimes you have meditation and go back to that trauma and tell yourself that you are loved, you are fine, you are good. So if there's any past life, any traumas when you were a child, Heal your. You might have broke your uh, soul fragment, and you just go back to that life and heal yourself by saying that you're you're loved. You're there for yourself. This is an old version. You're doing okay. And do that in meditation. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you, everyone. It's, it's... Deb, Star, and Philip. You're welcome. It's strange when you do that. I, I did that. And then all of a sudden, I, I, I started getting information of when I was one. I actually saw visions of when I was one because I, I cleared one trauma and then that carried to another trauma. And all of a sudden, I was, I was clearing everything. Uh, memories were coming into me that I never had before. Oh I yeah, yeah. Childhood memories when I was one year old, which is quite young. And you, and you need to and thank thank it for the thank it for the lesson and release it. You can't mm-hmm. live in in fear of these of these traumas for the rest of your life. Where it, it, yeah, I know it's horrible. Well, the, the, the fine where where the, the, oh. yeah, find where the trauma started. When did it first start? Why did it start? What reason is it? It probably you need it to heal yourself from that time. I, well, they, I heard from a couple of different people something happened when I was seven, so maybe that too. That's a lot. Well, go back to when you were seven and then think about the time that when you were seven and then thank it for the experience and release it. These yeah. are things that, you, that, that have to be released. Okay. But what you do is you go to that seven-year-old as yourself and you say, look, you're going to be fine. Give yourself a note, give yourself some love. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That's, what I, I, that's what I did. I think I was five. I thought I was alone. And, 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 uh, and, anything, hmm? and, any, and what can I do to raise my vibration now? What kind of things? To- By healing that seven-year-old. Uh, in a in a child of yours, a seven year old version of you, he, he'll go back, go, go in your timeline, go back to that time in meditation, and heal yourself. 
and you you will might you might cry doing it as well. Yeah, I mean that would be good because then you know it's working. Mm. Well, what you're doing is you're repairing your soul. You're collecting your fragment soul from it. That's good. <laughs> Amazing. Kiatura anyatarama akiwatu. Much love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Hey, Phil. Phil, can you say something? Then you want to work it. Wendy, go ahead. Thank okay. you. Um, so, a lot of times people will say, go back and like uh, heal, like meditate on that incident or whatever and heal yourself. So, what I wanted to let you know is that what you can do is you can rewrite your story. So, I know you guys have heard this before, but so what you do is you go back to the situation and then you recreate it in your mind in an imagination as a different situation. And then as you're creating it as that different situation, um, that's how that that's how the healing comes because then your your child self will begin to start to feel uh, protected uh, safe loved and and say these words say these words out loud I am use the word I am with it and then that adds power to it so that's all I had to say <laughs> and, and you want healing in a bit <laughs> that's what I read anyway See, I think we got everybody. Did we get everybody? I think Wendy said she wanted healing. I'm sure she did. Okay. Do you want healing, Wendy? Do you want some energy, Wendy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't need um, healing. You just want yes, please. <laughs> so, so uh, the healing request. No, actually, I, I, I do. Um, I have discovered that my pineal gland is calcified. And so I've been working on decalcifying it, but it's not done yet. And so that's where I'm looking for healing. And if have I did anything... Have you been sungazing? Have you, have you been sungazing? Yes. yes, yes. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And plus, I'm an aspect of Ra. So you would think me of all... It's like, okay, you're an aspect of Ra. I know. Let's send you in uh, and make sure that you've got to work on your pineal gland. Really, one of my first lives was a. Um, I was part of Ra's entourage, and apparently my ego was so huge that I wanted to take over the world. So I've been sent down here to mirror it from this side um, in my last life because I came from a family of narcissists, and so um, and so I had to heal being a narcissist. Um, yeah. Yeah, see, and it's so funny, like, as soon as I hopped on, I was like, ooh, we have a connection. I didn't know what it was, but it'll be it's interesting to investigate do, it. Lady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> you have, um, you have a, there's like a scab. It almost looks like a scab. I'll do my bit. the message that you put it there Wendy figures <laughs> he says he says go up there and just take it off reach up and remove it remove it right here right right here go up and take it off Now, can you see? Hmm. 
see the lights. See the lights. It's all open. All the lights. Colors. Your, Yay your for colors. colors are all going to show. Yep. All the <sighs> colors are going to show. It's cooking on gas. Mm. Wow. That is a blessing from God and he is thanking all of you for your work and the combined energy of everyone is sending so much light and and so much glory up to the angelic realm and the galactics right now that they can't thank you enough for how proud they are of you, how blessed you are and how... Oh, we lost her. Right. Yes. Phone was going out. I had a message for her as well. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's she's been connected to a source being. I want to know which one it is. Recently, was that an Anunnaki? Mm. My God, source was an Anunnaki for a while. Archangel Michael. <laughs> it was an Anunnaki talking to me. She said the phone was running out. So. They don't off pull my leg, so who knows? Can I ask? You know, can I ask before we finish? I don't want to trample on anybody's toes, so we'll wait till the very end. But can I ask everyone in all the world to send my puppy dog healing because I heal. My husband, her. my husband and I heal animals. I healed her. I can. And, and, and I can I'm, tell you your. I can tell your puppy your, your tell you what your puppy's past lives are. We can tell you that too. I know she was my teal dog. She was my first ever dog. Um, she had Cushing's disease, the vet said. So I removed the seed within her and put it inside me and released it um, through the violet flame to God's source with love and light. But then I got traumatized by it because I didn't even know what a healer was at that time. And I saw a die in front of my eyes. And I had no idea what the flippity flip was going on. When, and so my guides just told me to do it really quickly. And I, I did it and released it. And then was like, I spent a whole week paranoid. Well, what it is, what it I is, you, you broke the rules. That's why. <laughs> it's, it, it, it gets you back. <laughs> she wasn't dead, dead. They I know, no. To do it. But you... But they I don't think it was your guys. I think it was somebody else that told you. To it is breaking the rules. It's a bit like when I was healing my three-year-old of something that was bad, and it took me out for a day. I couldn't get out. I was completely out because it's breaking the rules a little bit. Oh well, so uh, it was worth it. Yeah, I know it was worth a week. <laughs> Could she have some more, please? Because I'm about yeah. ready to have her put to sleep. Because she's so, so she's so. She's so in need. She's the best little no, creature in all the world. Don't put, don't put her to sleep. Let them die naturally. Let me let me see that face. Where you know, the last, the last dog I was healing, there was a uh, place next to me, and she was 15, and she could hardly walk. I gave her healing. The next day, she was like a seven-year-old. She had another two years. The, the wow. owner said, what did you do? She said she's like a little baby again. <laughs> she was hardly walking the day before. He was going to put her to sleep a few days later. In the end, she had another two years. So That's amazing. That's why my guides have put me here today, because I've done yeah. all this on my own within the year in lockdowns. Mm. I've had no one to talk to and like no one to really help me. I've not met such a fabulous group of people that do things like this for each other before. For a year. Okay, uh, bring bring the puppy up again. I'm sorry, Phil keeps talking. Not even a year, to be honest. It's about seven months since I knew what healing even was. And Poppy was one of the first things that I was healing and oh, energetic. Poppy's name. Wait, Poppy. Poppy's name. Poppy. Poppy. P-O-P-P-Y. Poppy. Got it. 
my this puppy. This is puppy. My baby. Yeah. She's my emotional dog. Whenever, whenever okay. I'm in a. This little, this little girl's getting a special treatment with. She, father's just put a green energy in her whole torso. She's getting the, the full treatment. And now going into her heart muscle is his white diamond energy. And now it's turning molten gold and it's going to go through her whole bloodstream as, as her heartbeat. Uh, pumps this molten gold is going through her whole blood system in it and is going to heal every organ in her body and it's going to go through all her veins every, everywhere from you know in her head her brain everywhere so as her heart is beating I'm seeing it go through her whole body this molten golden energy I'm seeing gold too <laughs> So inside her body is her chest, her torso has got the emerald energy and that will stay there and her molten energy, this molten gold will go through her body. It's gone from the snoot all the way down to her paws. And this will stay with her and just absorb through and it'll be on the outside of her auric field as well. <laughs> so even yeah. her, chakras, her chakras are all healed and, and aligned. That will stay with her for six days. So she, she'll get to drink a lot more water and yep. flush through all the toxins and in a few hours you're going to see a different puppy yeah flowers. oh my best friend and this this here this is domino hi domino he's not forced <laughs> Thank you. I saw gold when you did that too. Thank you massively for... I thought I was just had to be on my own. I literally haven't shared myself with anyone for very... for months and months and months. Nope. Nope. We are here. Phil and Rick and I have been doing this for... What's, it'll be a year next month, I think. Wow. Mm. And we're doing it next week as well for Australia, but it's... Australia. UK time will be 5 to 12 at midnight. So. Okay, give me a message when you're about to go on. If I'm awake, I'll join. <laughs> Who knows? Is there any so more? I want to thank everybody for. Is there any, is there any more? If, if we're missing anybody, uh, shout out now. Should we do the Atlantis Halo quickly? So we all please send healing to and, and love and light to Rick and his boo boo. See his boo boo. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Davina, for thinking about Rick. <laughs> I think um, Rick's knees. Send Rick healing to my husband's knees. That's what I want. Is his knees? His wrist is doing good. No. You know what you need to do, don't you? My friends, you need to do this emotion code because if that's his knees, I released all, I released my entire energetic code and ancestral, and most, and, and many of it is um, um, arthritis -y stuff. You can remove it just by releasing the energetic emotions. Read that, do it. Heal, you'll heal yourself from the inside out and the outside in. You have to read about our story. Um, go to our website, it's healpeachlove.org and oh, read I'm what not, happened to us. But they want us to do everything together because then it's all different depths. Because if he had done that and he'd got to know the emotions, he wouldn't have hurt his knees. Emotion code. 
Yeah, yeah. I, my husband, the white light came to my husband and merged with him. So the creator actually merged with my husband, which is why he has this healing gift. And I get the downloads. So I get to see everything. I see what happens inside everybody's body as they're healing. Wow. And I get, I, and, and creator talks to me and lets me know what's going on. So I'm well, not seeing, if I don't understand something, I ask them telepathically. I can see attachments. I can see if, if they've got attachments or um, I can tell if somebody's lying to us. Um, wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I'm a past, human. And their that. past lives. They, and we know what their past lives are. Well, God Source just said he knew I'd got a big mouth. So he wanted to send me here to this group so that I could get you a different healing modality. So you didn't rely on just one. And then it would get to the depth of the problem because we all need to talk about our emotions, he was saying. Blimey, I don't know how they put this through my mouth. This is so new. Yeah. <laughs> how cheeky. <laughs> so there you go you're not just a white light you're an emotional releaser too sir and it'll, it'll stop all your achings and pains he wants you to right. heal My all the way doesn't get very emotional he doesn't get emotional at all that's why he's got to do it then mr mm -hmm. mr mr patriarch he, he, he did what he did when the white light merged with him. That's the only time he cried. Yeah. And one other yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, that Ooh. broke me right down. That's the way yeah. we've learned, isn't it? I mean, my dad died. I didn't I didn't cry for 30 years. I'm afraid it it got me. I um, Sharon, Sh 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 Sharon, I didn't cry since I was born to since last year. And I met some sort of twin flame in Australia and she gave me keys. And yeah. I cried for an hour. An yeah. hour. Never it cried before. Yeah. It unlocked your emotions. Get the emotion code red, sir. Yeah. I'm going to end area. this and you can continue talking if you'd like after this is done. But let me send send these people off that would love yeah. and gratitude. Uh, Dad, can we do a two minute grounding? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, Sharon, you might enjoy this one actually. This is something I did at Atlantis, but I'll do it very, very quick. And what you gotta do is you gotta visualize a, a, a circle around you, like a like an halo, bright white halo. It's it's bringing white light, white source light. Uh, if you up the frequency, you can create a portal. But uh, we'll just call it an halo at the moment. And then what you do is you just go to your crown chakra up and down. And what it's doing is it's healing you and grounding all the negativity you might have picked up in the day. So it goes two down. At, Four inches down, two inches up. Four inches down, two inches up. Four inches down, two inches up. If it changes colour, like red, fire, dragon red, it means it's clearing attachments. Yellow, it's you can helping your emotions. So it goes all the way down, all the way up to your root chakra, all the way down to your feet. If it's doing it two, four down, two up, four down, two up. When it gets to your feet channel moon energy from your crown chakra all the way down to clear everything and then any negativity put into the earth okay i know that was very very quick and then just have a few seconds of heavy breathing and that's it that normally takes 10 minutes by the way <laughs> i love grounding i've got a good one that, that was from Atlantis. Thank you. For t 20 years, I used to think it was a, like a, an, a, not an halo, like a crystal thing that just went down. And then someone said, that sounds like an halo. And I thought, it is an halo, isn't it? <laughs> so I was Mine. given that, but I wasn't told what it was. Mine slipped. All right. All right. When everybody's done. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for having me. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We'll see you next month. Oh, next, next week. Field. Now, anybody that is going to go to the Australia one, you know, you're all welcome to go. But uh, it starts at 4 o'clock um, Pacific time.
Five to twelve UK time at night. Midnight. Okay. Tell us the thing. <laughs>